Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 20 of the FIFA 18 My Player Career and look who we're starting off today's episode against. It is the Champions League of course because that seems to be the only competition which Kai is actually getting a game in. Uh, but this one, at least this one's worth it. It is against Barcelona. We're at home and who's going to come out with the three points in this one? I think whoever wins this game will um, finish the group stage of the Champions League top. So hopefully... but. Um, Dortmund can go out and get the victory. It's going to be tough, of course. Barcelona destroyed us in the last game. Uh, but we want to try and repay that and get our revenge and get the victory. Uh, but so far, no goals. Eight minutes played. It is going to be a free kick to Barcelona in a dangerous area. And Lionel Messi is standing over it. Comes over and too much over, actually. A little bit too much height on that one from Lionel Messi. Goes over the crossbar, thankfully for us. Uh, but Kai not started the games off too great. He's on a 5.4 rating. Uh, but to be honest, he's not had many touches of the ball. Nice little touch there, though. And now a chance here for a brush dormant to push forward. Here he is. Nice little layoff as well. Yarmolenko looking to play the through ball, which he does. Finds Kai. He made a beautiful little run and actually scores the first goal of the game. Great assist there from Yarmolenko. He cut inside, saw the run of Kai, and he found him. A beautiful little touch as well from Kai just to get it past the Barcelona goalkeeper. So after 12 minutes, Dortmund are in front. So that is exactly the start that we wanted to this game. Hopefully now we can just hold on and maybe even try and grab a second goal to get this game wrapped up. But look at this beautiful through ball. Defence nowhere. Goalkeeper probably could have carried on coming, but as soon as he got to the edge of the six-yard box, he decided to stop. But that is Kai's second Champions League goal of the season. And now we're into the second half. Still holding on to a one-goal lead. Kai hovering around the edge of the area right now for Dormant. To Stegen though, holding on to that cross. And uh, Barcelona are going to get the ball clear. But hopefully not too far forward. Which they don't because Dortmund do have the ball back in their own possession. In their own half right now. Let's try and get forward, lads. Here is Kai. Gets the ball from Bartra. Kai being held back there. But Dortmund do push forward. Correa in a bit of space. Kai gives him the ball and then he hits it. And go Correa. He scores the first goal for him of the game. It's the second for Dortmund. And now with just over 15 minutes remaining, Borussia Dortmund are leading two goals to nil. Again, defence is letting the forwards run forward into the space. And a nice finish there for Angel Correa to score his third Champions League goal of the season. And what a signing he has been so far for Dortmund. He's the one that's been scoring all the goals in the league and now the Champions League. But Barcelona are not over with yet. They are trying to get themselves back into the game even at this late stage. And in fact that is going to be a late throw in here. Dembele takes. And crosses as well. Far post there from Dembele. Good defending there from Dorman. That one goes out of play and that is in fact the final whistle. So a nice victory there for Borussia Dortmund. The 87 rated Kai actually finishes the game with an 8.7 rating as well. He did get a goal. He did get an assist. And things are looking good right now for Dortmund and for Kai. Uh, but more so for Dortmund because they are the ones playing in the Bundesliga. Kai not so much. Uh, it is a bit of a shame that we're not playing in the league. I'm not entirely sure why this is. Uh, why would you put your best player on the bench? Not even on the bench, is he really? Uh, but we do have a game next up. Is this in the league? I don't think this is a league game. I actually think this is in the German Cup. Uh, so we're playing in all the cup games, but unfortunately not in the league games, which, like I said, is a huge shame. We want to be scoring and assisting in the league. Yeah, this is a German League Cup, so let's try and get ourselves through to this one and at least give us a few more games to play before the end of the season, which is fast approaching, I've got to say. We're halfway through the year. And we've not really played that many games, have we, with Borussia Dortmund. But Kai's trying to run through the middle there. We're good defending from Bayer Leverkusen. We've not said many German club names because we're not playing in these domestic games, unfortunately. Uh, but 10 minutes in, Leverkusen have themselves a corner. Kai's there defending. And gives the ball away, unfortunately. I thought that was going to be a nice little through ball. A possible counter-attack was on there for Dortmund. And maybe it still is. Kai's asking for it. He gets it. The space on this near side. He cuts onto the near side. He's waiting for somebody to make the run. There it is. It's Philippe. Kai makes the run himself into some space. He's going to take the shot off. He shoots, but too much height on that one. Over the crossbar and out for a Leverkusen goal kick. So moving on then. Just over 20 minutes remaining. Kai again making the runs. But that was a poor through ball there. 
And out for a throw in, thankfully for us. Need to get this ball in the area. Kai again hovering around the area for Brussia Dortmund. Nice little bit of skill here from Dortmund. And Philippe tees it off. Predator could have took the shot on himself, but he laid it off for Kai. Kai shot, and the goalkeeper makes a save, and it goes out of play for another Dortmund throw. Yarmolenko this time throwing it into Kai. And Yarmolenko just losing out there, and Leverkusen, it looks like, are going to get this ball clear. Indeed, they are. So poor play there from Dortmund. Probably should have got that one into the area at the very least. And get this one clear, boys. Half an hour play then. Still looking for the deadlock to be broken here. Brush your dormant all the away side, of course. So the cup games away are always going to be tough, especially in the domestic league. But really, dormant should be the favourites. Even though Leverkusen having a pretty decent season right now. And they're on the attack again. Crossed far post. And it's gone in. Can you believe it? The defender was right in front of him. But for some reason, he didn't jump high enough. But Silva did. And he scores the first goal of the game as they run all the way through the cameraman, who's actually disappeared now. So there are the Leverkusen fans. They're going to be chuffed with that, of course. Look at this. Cross comes in. Defender stood right in front of him. Oh, we don't even see the full replay, unfortunately. Uh, but there it is. The first goal then of the game. Some work to do for Dortmund if we're going to be remaining in this competition. Good interception there now. The counter-attack may be on. Here is Kai. Plays a through ball in for Philip. Philip sees the run on. And here is a chance to make it 1-1. One, one, but he hits the woodwork. And that one goes out of play for a Dortmund throw. Another good chance there for Dortmund. Goes begging. As Kai, Kai plays that one in the middle. But unfortunately the, goal, the defender sorry, read that one. And he clears for Leverkusen. So into the second half we jump now. And still looking to get ourselves onto level terms. Nice little touch there for Kai. Got it through to Philippe, and here he is again, finds Philippe. Come on, somebody give the ball to Kai, here he is. Space on this near side, tried to thread it through the small gap, which didn't work, but here's Kai, goes for the finesse, and he's at the woodwork now, can you believe it? Our luck just is not with us today. We've hit the woodwork twice, we've had a couple of efforts go wide of the goal, and now we're heading into the final minutes, and it looks like Dortmund are going to be knocked out of the German Cup, and it's going to be by Leverkusen who are going to be the ones progressing through, which is a bit of a shame, as I said, at the start of the game. We want to go all the way in this one. It gives Kai some extra games. If we are going to be only the guy to play in the cup games, uh, it has actually come to an end. So it looks like only the Champions League is what Kai is going to be playing in. Uh, but he did get a couple of achievements during that match, which is nice. And he finishes the match with a 7 rating as Dortmund go out. And there you can see we go out. It is Leverkusen who go through to the quarter-finals. So let's get into some league action. Uh, we've got Leipzig first up. This is obviously one that Kai has not been chosen to start in. Uh, we're three days before Christmas as well. And then, of course, a week away before the January transfer window opens. Um, I don't know what to do. Shall, uh, shall we request a transfer? Only because we're not playing in the league games. Look, this is another league game, Boxing Day. And we're being arrested for it, or dropped even. And actually, as you can see there, Kai's actually in the starting 11. Can you see? Kai's in the starting 11 there. He's actually playing. But I'm not actually being able to play the game. So there must be something bugged out here. I've only just realised that as we was editing it back. Uh, Kai is playing in some of these games that, which are being simmed. Um, we're not able to actually play them ourselves. So I don't know if it's... Um, something to do with the game, glitched or not, but I think we'll either leave it to the end of the season. We don't want to be asking for a transfer in the January transfer window. As you can see, there's a bunch of transfers going through already. Uh, so we'll leave it to the end of the season, see if we get any more games, see if the glitch is still there. We've got mains coming up now, and then hopefully uh, we can get playing these games. He's not in this one, as you can see, no Kai in that game. Uh, so we're not going to be playing in this one, but hopefully we can get the three points. Uh, we do get the three points, a 2-1 win, but I will leave at the top right corner, guys, um, a poll whether to request a transfer and leave in the summer or stay. I'll, I'll let I'll let that um, be decided by you guys. You guys let me know what you think we should do, leave or stay at Borussia Dortmund. Um, the only worry is if we do leave, it's only going to be the big clubs that come in for us like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Man City, PSG. 
and then of course our chances of starting the starting 11 will probably drop even more we should be starting with Borussia Dortmund we are overall rated 87 probably the best strike uh, sorry the best midfielder probably the best player at the club right now and we're still not making the starting 11 which is a huge shame for us as I said we want to be starting as many games as possible uh, we're just finishing off transfer deadline day as you know there is a winter break in Germany so there wasn't many games to play during January anyway so there we go January is over and done with and again we're still not making the starting 11 so it's over a month now that Kai's not played a game uh, but hopefully we can get the three points at the very least this one at home against Hamburg February the 2nd 2019 are we going to start it off with a nice victory we are indeed a nice victory indeed three goals to nil that gives us a nice little three points so a week later and again Kai has been dropped again at least the glitch isn't there he's not in the starting 11 there is he so at least that has fixed itself right now uh, but Dortmund need the three points if we can Let's skip this one. 2 1 winners. Vigo with both goals there for Dortmund. So at least we're still picking up the wins. And we've played 12 games all season. And most of them have been in the Cup. I think all of them. Have we actually played a single Bundesliga game? I can't even remember. We may have played at the start of the season. But I know right now we're not making any of these start 11s. And another victory. This time, Leighton Baines getting the only goal of the game. And as you can see right now, we are ranked the best player at the club. 87 rated overall. I don't think there's anybody there um, who even comes close. I think the only Roman Berkey, the goalkeeper, 86 rated. Vigel and top rack, 84 and 84. Guerrero, 84. But look at that. 87 rated Kai is not making the start in 11. So like I said, I will leave the poll to you guys. Do we hand in the transfer request? Do we try and stay and hope for the best in the, um, for the rest of the games? And then hopefully start next season. Uh, but another draw there for Dortmund. And we're in for the next match. And what is the chances? It's probably a Champions League game. Let's have a look. Is it going to be a Champions League game that we're going to be starting in? Central, it is indeed. Look at that. PSG, it is the Champions League. So, of course, this is the group, uh, the first knockout stages, um, not the group stage. It is the first knock knockout stages of the Champions League. Hopefully, then we can get off to a good um, first leg victory. We are away from home, so we'll take a score draw. Uh, at the very least, we want to be grabbing ourselves a goal. That will give us an away advantage going into the second leg at our home stadium. But here is Angel Correa then. Winning the ball early on. Gets the ball back there from Kai. Kai carries on his run straight through the middle. Uh, but the defender followed him there, unfortunately. So Korea wasn't able to play the ball through. But Dortmund still on the attack here. Kai twisting and turning, trying to find somebody in space. Got a little, little interception there for PSG. Looks like PSG have been spending the cash. Because they've got Christian Eriksen in their ranks. Danilo's there too. Uh, Diego Costa. Wow, they have been spending some money, haven't they? Vrat is still at the club, we see. Is Neymar and Mbappe here? I can't remember if we've seen those move. Yeah, but here is a chance for Pulisic to give them lead. He hits the woodwork. And we've hit the woodwork so many times when we've been playing. If it's not Kai hitting the woodwork, it is the AI. Uh, but 10 minutes played. We've had the best of the chances so far. So we're going to jump ahead into the final 15 minutes of this first half. Still looking for the first goal of the game. Here is Neymar. So he is still at PSG. And he's looking to get the ball forward here nicely pass forward there for Danilo now Diego Costa cuts inside massive gap here for Ericsson and he slots it past the goalkeeper PSG do break the deadlock 10 minutes before the half time interval and it is the former Spurs midfielder Christian Ericsson who gives Paris Saint-Germain the one goal lead and he celebrates with his teammates Diego Costa there oh Eric Bailly he's at PSG as well so they have really been spending the cash they've got a lot of cash to spend of course uh, but nice vision there from Diego Costa. Saw Ericsson in so much space. Defence absolutely nowhere. And there he is, the goal scorer. He scores his fifth Champions League goal of the season. So he's having a cracking year, isn't he? With Paris Saint-Germain. And they're pushing forward yet again here. Looking to get this game wrapped up. We're still in the first half. And here is Ericsson. He just loses the ball there. Leighton Baines it was. Doing his defensive duties nicely. And now a possible counter-attack here for Guerrero it is. And Kai's in space. He's found there by Guerrero. And he gets past the defender. Takes the shot off. Goalkeeper makes a save. But Sebastian Rode, he's there. Quickest to react to the rebound from the goalkeeper's 
um, Palm save and he levels things up on the stroke at half time. Sebastian Rhodes scoring again. And look at their kite. He was the one with the original shot. And goalkeeper makes a good save. Couldn't get up fast enough to keep that rebounded effort out. And it is Sebastian Rhodes' second goal in the Champions League this season. So into the second half we'll go. It is PSG looking to get themselves back in front here. And Christian Eriksen, the goal scorer, plays the ball in the middle. Good um, block it was from Toprak. And then a good save from Birke, the goalkeeper, keeping the ball out. Julian Draxler is coming on to replace Christian Eriksen. So at least we don't have the Eriksen threat right now. I'd rather have Eriksen on the, on the field than... Draxler, if I was a PSG manager, but he might be fatigued. You never know, could have even picked up an injury as that one is headed into the back of the net by Eric Bayer, the former Manchester United defender, but he was offside. Thankfully for us, so it is not going to count. There is a linesman saving our bacon. So a couple of changes here for both sides. Another one coming on as well. Sebastian Rowe just taken off by De Hood. And a chance here, a corner gets thrown in, or swung in even. Guerrero. Throwing it to Kai this time. Nice little one-two. Nicely played through. A chance comes in. Wrong side of the post there from Angel Correa. Just over 10 minutes remaining. And it is still 1-1 here in Paris. Uh, good passing play there though. From Dorman. Looking exciting. Trying to get themselves into uh, the lead. Can we do it from this corner kick? Gets cleared away. Can Guerrero get it back in the area? It's Pulisic looking to get the cross in. He's trying to weave his way through the defence. But Danilo says, no way, man. You are not getting through us. And the counter-attack is on here. And it's gone all the way through here. Is Diego Costa. Nobody in support. So he's going to have to do it all himself, which he's unable to do. And Dortmund get that ball forward. Have we got enough time to have one more late attack here? It doesn't look like we're going to be able to always. So we are coming to an towards the end of the episode, guys. And as I said, we've got that... Paul in the top right corner. Let me know what you think we should do. Should we stay at Dortmund? Should we um, hand in a transfer request and hope for the best in the summer? Well, there you go. There is the final whistle. Thanks for watching, guys. Kai finishes game with a 6.1 rated. Leave a like if you like the episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to end today's video with another game which Kai's not being chosen for. This one is away from home, taking on Augsburg in the Bundesliga. Can we end with a victory? We're going to get to 15 minutes and skip. And we lose one goal to nil.